Shalom, everyone. I hope that you're doing fantastic. Thanks for joining for our daily reading for the 30th of January. Happy birthday and happy anniversary to anyone who is celebrating today. I hope it's absolutely fantastic for you. Let's go ahead and get in here and see what the divine wants to say to you and I. Thank you, sweet divine. I just invite your truth and understanding, your peace and your wisdom here. We have the Zion. Beautiful, because today's all of today's date will break to an eight. And that's the that's a seven. But there's a I'm gonna take another card as well, but there is a hold on a second. I need to see if I can share this. I apologize. I'm waking up, like I said, if you're new, because <laughs> I don't know who, who's new or who's not on these videos. I had a couple new subscribers uh, that I got some emails on, so welcome, welcome, welcome. I wake up in the morning with everyone, and I have my coffee, and it's the first reading here, and uh, so let me get my brain kicked in here for a second. This is about harvesting. You know, often we've been getting the rune that'll come out about a harvest. All of today's date breaks to an eight. And that's about having strength. Strength in the harvest. Okay? Yeah, I, I just need to move on from what I was going to say initially. So I apologize. We have the Zion coming out. And I'm going to take another card here as well. This is a broad scope of an area being plowed. Okay, it's something that represents being cut. It's a seven. That's victory. That's a chariot energy. Uh, so we're going to look at the seventh house. That's Libra. That'll actually take us to justice energy. It's found there. Okay. And uh, things are being balanced out right now in the earth by way of the divine we've also got the mem here coming out and <laughs> that's amazing so this take you back to the eighth house itself it's the 13th letter which the 13 is the death card which the eighth house in the tarot rules over that card um so there's 11 here which makes justice what i was just <laughs> So the divine's going to bring out what he was bringing through my spirit anyway. He's just, he's just going to do it in a different way. Um, <laughs> I love you, sweet divine. You're so precious to me. we got the mem here. And the mem is the who, the what, the how, the where, this come from, the kind of stuff. The unknown place. It represents the sea. Where the flooding is. Okay watery energy and people are made of water and some people are made of different types of waters everybody's made differently okay and uh, this can represent a people like I just said a sea of people and then we've got the harvest and plowing something a a large scope of an area and a sea of people showing up here. Balancing out the scales because this water is everywhere. Who did this? Where'd this come from? And, and it's emotional stuff. It's confusion energy. It's also headship showing itself here. Family showing itself here in the vibration of the four as well. We're also talking about under investigative stuff that's been like what is going on. We're talking the eighth house and we are because the overall energy that's that's secret stuff. That's magnetic stuff and people get drawn into things and then things happen and people wonder well what 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 just happened here? Where where'd that come from? And now 
it's judgment on that kind of stuff. Big time just judgment because we have justice energy showing up uh, along with things coming to the surface and the judgment energy of the 8th house is here as well. So that's its major stuff here in a very big, 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 big way. Scorpio, Cancer, Aries, um, Libra energy. We've got Virgo and Pisces also coming out with that, with the um, 11, because that makes a 2. That take you up to the high priestess. That's the axis of one another in both that card. We also have the chariot energy coming out here. That's also Sagittarius with the chariot card. What else is out here? Divine. Uh, we also have Leo coming out with the eight vibration as well with the strength card. People have to have some strength. Especially after the word that the divine gave us yesterday. So, the divine is having me bring a word out here that's not, the rest of the letters are not out here, but energetically it is. What I just went over with those other signs. Listen, we're talking, and I say this all the time, we're talking Scorpio energy anywhere. You have to look in places because that's a dark energy that's not a dark energy but it's, it's it's a secret energy let me say it that way and you know things are hidden in the dark okay if you're scorpio all of us have scorpio somewhere in our chart we're all made up of that stuff okay but the things are being highlighted today what he brought out here okay and that actually that energy is in the negative because everybody has positive and negative in their chart somewhere uh that is about it, it, the negative that is really deep deep I mean, if we're talking about in the negative of Scorpio and the energy itself is about, well, it takes you to children. It takes you to secrets. It takes you, it rules over our genitals. It rules over uh, other people's money and property and stuff like that. So you take that energy in the negative of that and then, well, there you go. You know, I don't have to say anything about it. And there's, we know there's judgment here on a lot of stuff. But energetically, there's all those other signs and uh, letters came out and the divine as I was looking for just those two letters could not find a word but yet I found it with the other stuff and it represents a wind a strong scattering wind yesterday we got a 72 hour reading which was is a timeless reading by the way that the divine had me do and he asked he told me to ask me another way about your enemies a question because we're, we're we're fed up with the enemy thinking that they can have the rule over the people that want to stand up and be upright. And the divine told us not to shut up until it was in the earth to get rid of the murderous acts and stuff like that. And one of the things that came out was he was going to scatter the people, put a fear in them. And we're getting, we're getting something out here that is still found here he, where it's hidden. And he's just confirming what he said yesterday. He's going to scatter him. It's a strong scattering wind. Okay. Now, the divine is not the destroyer. People bring that on their self. Whatever you met, have dished out, that is going to be measured right back to you. And none of us are exempt from that. None of us. The divine is even. Okay? He wants us to be at peace and at rest. And to be kind and be blessed. But some people just aren't because they're full of this, full of themselves for one thing. They don't want to come into the light. Okay? They want to stay in places and make people scared and be a fright and all that kind of stuff. And put them in this who, what, where, and why, how. And some people, it's written in living language. Some people can't even sleep until they went and done mischief. That's, that's wickedness in the earth. we got to take care of that kind of stuff and not be afraid to stand up. Because the divine's now standing up and he says, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take him out. Big, big scope of an area. It's everywhere. It's, it's all over the place. He's going to squeeze them. He's going to scatter them. 
one, one of the energetic words that's found here is a pitchfork. That's amazing. <laughs> a pitchfork used to scatter the grain in the wind where they went fishing and forked out for people and got their forks and knives and did things to people. These are, I'm going to get mine out now and see how you like it. There's also a word here connected to vomit. It's disgusting. Boy, when we're talking judgment energy, guys, the, the divine, like people were in the judgment. The, the whole year is 2020. We're in judgment. Standing before the throne of the Almighty every day. But really, it is amplified. we got angels here with us. If you're in the upright, baby, you're just going to watch your enemies with your eyes. Things that are coming to them. You just stay in peace. And um, once this stuff is over, we're gonna we're gonna rejoice. We really are gonna rejoice. Okay, I did find a uh, a word the other way with the the mem and the zayn. Actually, that was the mem and the het. It kind of looks like the zayn. But that's still the eighth letter. It means to... I'm going to read it anyway because it's still the eight energy I hear. Oh, there's the... There it is. There is a word. So there is a word with the mem and the zayn. And then right after that has the het. And I'm going to read both of them because that energy is still here. This word means to burn. Amazing because that energy that, that we got yesterday on that reading said to scatter, but it was also going to be with the fire. So we're getting the word burn here. So the other word was to strike and marrow. It is, um, combine these, mean the liquid inside, the marrow is found within the bones. It says the marrow is a buttery liquid inside the bones and is used as a choice food. And we just got a word that talked about the pitchfork for all they're eating. Remember, everything's going to be measured right back onto them. To obtain the marrow, the bone must be struck to break it open. And he also stated yesterday that I, I see you. Not, not only I see you, but that's hospital stuff. People better be really careful be led by their spirit today. Get away from people that are, you know, if you're in a group and somebody starts gossiping stuff, I would just literally move away from those people because the word has already gone out. He's already put forth his judgment in the earth. It started January 1st, really. It's just intensifying until those people are... That, that's harvest time, people. I'd just get away from those people. I would give them a warning. Let's not talk about that. You might, might, might want to do that. And if they don't want to, then say, okay, and you need to move away from those people. Those people immediately become, become under judgment. Okay? The divine's not messing around anymore. The word has been for how many centuries and decades... Uh, that this stuff would happen and we're in that time now okay and when you do this work sometimes I don't even like to have to, 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 to give the word but I have to I have to it's called yielding to the spirit I didn't ask to have to do this work the divine told me it woke me up and said to do it protects us Look, the divine said, I love judgment. He said he loves it because it keeps us in line. It keeps, it keeps the earth pure. Only the proud don't like correction. And it's not that we're correcting 
each other. Uh, we do it in love, okay? Because every one of us have, <laughs> we all can get into that, that mode, criticism sometime, or feeling a certain way. We need one another, okay? So this isn't about just somebody having the rule over anybody. It's it's us correcting in love so that we can, because the divine loves judgment. His children will judge something that is not right, okay? I'm just going to pull about three cards, that's it, because I'm already 15 minutes in this video. Things are coming to the surface about some things that people really wondered about, and that's beautiful. You're getting your justice. I asked for justice the other day, and the divine is going to give it to his children. Everything that has been stolen is going to be returned. What do you want to say about this energy out here? Thank you. We got the hangman coming up. Yes, he's going to make, oh my God. So this is confusion energy. Both of it. Both these are, are this energy. The hangman is, it's Neptune energy coming out. Really big, both of the cards. Go right back to Neptune. Who, what, when, where, how. I don't know what to do and how, how this and that. And this is also a prophecy card. One of the meanings of this hangman energy is a prophecy taking place. Being flipped upside down also and having to think a different type of a way now and see things from different points of views. His ways are not our ways. We will never figure out the divine. There's the moon, and in the Hebrew, that represents, you know, hunting and chasing, laying down in ambush. But it's also, uh, we know that it also represents being upright and righteous and humble. It's where they hunt and chase for food. He's like, I got, I got my pitchfork out now on this ridiculousness. You really going to have to use your intuition. Going to have to use your intuition. Like I just said, people around you act in a certain way. Maybe you've got caught up in some kind of conversations as well. You need to go back and make it right. What else, Divine? This is secret. No more. Things are coming to the surface. People are worried. Look, people have been thrown out also. We know that. If you've been following my channel. People need some grace. You better hurry up. Because the divine, his mercies are new every morning. Every morning. Yes. Every morning. And there's the sun. <laughs> I love you, divine. Every morning, the sun will come up and overtake that moon. Where do you find yourself today, y'all? Where do you find yourself? Where do you want to find yourself? Do you want to find yourself in strife? Well, that kind of stuff's going away. These are the people that the divine's going and going to put them in the fire and cook them with his little pitchfork for what they did. So if you're here and somebody threw you out, the divine said, i seen it. We've seen it yesterday. Like I said, I see you. Now they go to I see you. Because the divine can see everything by his... The sun is coming. The rays are coming. There's judgment here, big time. So rejoice today. Because your enemy is going to scatter seven ways. All your money they took, it's coming back to you. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it there. I think that the divine, there's a, there's a star. Something's guided. Absolutely, it's guided. And that's where we find the sun at right now is here. Anyway, I'll be back to do an actual um, reading. My first readings, I always just... Uh, do it this way, and uh, this is what the divine wanted to say today. I bless you all. Shalom.